Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a paper chase sale haul. So let's just get started. The first thing I picked up was some wrapping paper. Obviously it's Christmas paper but it'll come in handy for this year. I picked up two rolls of this white one with Christmas trees on. This was down to a pound each instead of 3 75 I also picked up this like brown paper and then it's got little like Christmas trees, Christmas presents, just in like white geometric drawings. Again this was a pound each instead of 3 75 each. And with the Christmas paper I picked up this silver like foiled paper with black Christmas trees on. Like I said it'll come in handy for this Christmas but also I still need to wrap my family's Christmas presents ready for January. I picked up some like cards and postcards that we reduced. First off I picked up two of these postcards. They just say rocking around the Christmas tree. These were 35p each instead of 70 pence. He also picked up this one which just says rules were made to be broken. I like having like inspirational quotes or like little postcards and this one was 15p instead of 70p. I also picked up this Christmas card which just says Merry Christmas sister so if my sister's watching she's gonna see our Christmas card but this was 75p instead of £2.50 but I'm actually gonna give her this in January when we go home and it's got rose gold on it and who doesn't love rose gold. The next couple of things I picked up were some present toppers. They've just got some black balls and some like floral balls. These were 50p each instead of 2 25 The next thing I picked up was this like document holder. I think it's very really Kate Spade-esque with the gold dots. These were 2 25 instead of £3 each. Not a big saving but I think I'm going to give one to my sister when I go home because we both love stationery and we both love Kate Spade so it's very really Kate Spade-esque. Like I said I picked up two of them. Next thing I picked up was a couple of writing sets. The first one is this like butterfly one. You get 10 sheets, envelopes, address labels and stickers. This year I either want to make some pen pals or just send some letters, even if I just send them to family and stuff like that. I also do a fair few blog sales, sell them on Depop and stuff like that. It is quite nice just to add a little note in, just to say thank you. I also picked up this one, which is just like pastel coloured geometric print. This one you get 10 pieces of paper and 10 envelopes. They were both £2.50 each instead of £5. The next thing I picked up was this clutch bag. It's a leather clutch purse on it, but I'm actually just going to pop it in my handbag to put like makeup bits and stuff like that in. It was originally £24, then it was down to £16.50 and then it went down to £6. As you can see, it's just got this skull print on it, like embossed skull print, and I'm a big fan of skulls, so I had to pick that up. The final thing I picked up was this file. It's just got a little elasticated bit to keep it closed. But if you follow me on Twitter, Instagram, anything like that, you will know that me and Glenn recently moved house. And I've seen this file, and it's just a document file, but it's got the dividers down it. And they say things like accounts, vehicles, medical expenses, house policies. And then you get two blank ones at the bottom. I thought this would be good, obviously, to keep everything in one place. Because obviously we have our own bank accounts, we have a joint account, we have bills to pay for the f house and stuff like that. So I thought if we just popped everything in here for the house, then we know where it is. If we need to ring anyone or bills that have been paid, we can file them away in here so we know where everything is. That was £4.50 instead of £15, so I thought that was a great buy. That's everything I picked up. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe and I will see you all in my next video.